I'm excited about today oh. because you're going to validate my feelings. I do that every day, don't I? Well, most days, but I'm excited that we get to, because that's the topic, right? We're talking about... We're talking know, about validation. But like, of my... No, not you. Oh. But we're talking about SaaS websites. That's what we talk that's, about here. That's, I think, the other... Yeah, the other shows yeah your here. review oh. where I gave you all zeros. Yeah. You remember yeah. that? Oh. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's where I was trying to validate. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Um, but cool. I'm, I'm ex Thanks. I appreciate you letting us go on. So uh, this is cool. I'm excited. We're, we've got show 11. We've been doing this for a while now, talking all about how to grow um, conversion on a SaaS website. Yep. Lots of cool principles we've gone through. and This is principle number nine today. And nine. if you guys have not already downloaded the guidebook to uh, creating a killer SaaS website that converts, go to sas.coach and download the guidebook again. As Andy mentioned, principle, we're going step at a time. We're on number nine today. Just, um, just in case people, gotcha, gotcha. you need help. Yeah, I'm, doing, I'm doing, I'm doing things with my daughter now, <laughs> teaching her the count. So I'm used to showing my figures. Very good. So with that, what are we really talking about when we talk about validation? Yeah. So you know, whenever we're getting a visitor to the site, one of the key things that we need to make sure that we do is validate that they're interested in our product and that there's a reason for them to move forward. It's about creating confidence. We want them, as they browse through the site, as they look at actions to take conversion, whether that's downloading a white paper, yeah. signing up for a demo or a free trial, that we want to validate what we're saying and give them confidence to take that action and move forward. And that's really what it is, is about mm -hmm. increasing confidence and reducing risk. And that's the biggest thing that we can leverage validation for on a website. So is this a reason why a lot of times you see websites will show logos of brands that are their clients? You're hitting it exactly. Okay. And so that's really what it is about is that we get there and we want to have that confidence and when we see other people that are doing, uh, you know, that are using this product mm -hmm. or that are validating it, that's what we're looking at. And so that's, that's a great example. Yeah. Um, so the, the first thing, if you're in our guide, you know, the way that we structured this, and I think this is a really nice approach to just kind of help people get the concept, yeah. is there's two sides. There's increasing confidence and there's reducing risk. That's what it's all about. We're trying to get people to convert. We yeah. want them to do that free trial. We want them to sign up for that demo, whatever it is. And if we can increase their confidence for them to say, wow, if I do this, it's really gonna solve my problems. Or we can reduce the risk where they're afraid to say, well, I don't wanna put in my credit card or you know, if I sign up for this, whatever might happen, yeah. we reduce the risk. That is what gets people to take an action. And so uh, the way we looked at it is really thinking of it as a point system, because it is. Every action that someone takes on a website, they're stepping through, you're kind of gaining or losing points in their head. And at the end, when they're ready to take action, are there enough points for them to move forward? I like that because there's a number of things you can do, and I know you're gonna go into that in a second, but by having a point system, you can almost say like, hey, maybe we need to reduce the risk further because we only have so many or maybe there's ways that we can further increase confidence if you're not getting the conversions yep. that you want. Exactly. And so, you know, as an example, if I'm going through a site, is it professional and easy to use? Can I find the information that I'm looking for plus five points? Do I then watch a video of a customer recommendation, which is exactly validation? Yeah. I see that customer recommendation. That's actually worth 12 points to me because I'm seeing someone else say, wow, I had a great experience. Then I see a logo of a brand I respect. You know, I actually know that company. I know that they're great. They're growing. Yep. I see their logo on the site. Eight points. And then I check out the awards and PR. You know, check out the awards and PR on Brad, our Pulp Fiction reference there. 
and it's four more points because I see this article that you know they just got another two hundred million dollars in funding yep. or whatever it might be, and so obviously that's validation that there are other people in the marketplace that think that this is a solid product providing value uh, and good for the marketplace. And so now that I've taken those different things, at the end it's, wow, this looks great, let's try it. Yeah, awesome. And so it was really about adding up those points. And three of these pieces were all validation. We're hearing from a customer, we're seeing that there's other brands that we know of, and there's other people, investors, or the market that are providing validation for this so product. Third party. Yeah. Third party. And so that's really what this is, is as we have people step through a site, we want to constantly be providing some sort of validation for our claims. Yep. You know, we're saying that this is a great product that solves X problems, but it would be great if someone else said it for us because that's more powerful and it gets us more points. Yep. And then the other side of it is really reducing risk mm -hmm. or are we losing that? You know, as an example on the reducing risk, it's really talking about how you can lose points. And so an example is, there's no trial, I don't even know that if this will work for me. Yeah. You know, that's minus 10 points. If I can't get into a trial or see like a really good product tour, there's a good likelihood that I'm gonna say, I'm not ready to buy today. Yeah. And so we really gonna have to have that option, I don't know this will work for me. No logos or testimonials. Is anyone actually using this? So if you go to this product website, you've got a software website, and someone scrolls down and they're seeing you know, no validation, no logos, no brands, no testimonials, or, you know, something that seems really generic, they're going to say, hey, is anybody actually using this and do yeah. they like it? Minus another four points. Mm -hmm. Things like no docs or no phone number, you know, that to me is like, okay, there's no documentation. If this is a software product, yeah. you know, is there API documentation, help documentation? Is there a phone number do there? And if not, is it just one dude sitting in his basement that built a software product and can't help? And not just that, it's one dude that doesn't even have a phone. Doesn't even have right? a phone. What's wrong with yeah. this guy? Yeah. I, I don't trust that guy, right? I No. And I can't see any screens. It must look like shit. You know, this is a big one is that we talked about um, imagery and we talked about screens and how important having um, visuals of your product are. This is a great one that if you don't have any on your website, they're going to go, wow, what, you know, what could this thing be like? Sure. Again, minus eight points. And then at the end, it's, there has to be a better solution out there. Oh, that's not good. No. <laughs> <laughs> so we're increasing confidence. Wow, that looks great. Reducing risk. It doesn't look good enough, so let's not do it. Yeah. No, that's cool. I would say that based on all those things it sounds like we're actually building some of those in if you're following the first eight principles you're already creating a site that you know has some clarity has taking guiding people through um making things easy to read and scan yeah. so it it's already improving on these elements by following those principles well i think this is just backing it up you yeah. know at the end of the day we've gone through all this stuff like you said making it scannable providing these great screenshots, but if you add in things like logos and quotes and you know news and PR yeah. and awards and all of these things, all it does is take all that great stuff that we just did and just puts a lot of confidence behind it and validates it. I yeah. mean, that's really what this is about, is the word validation. Can we validate our claims of how great our product is and that it's gonna solve the problems that are needed and there's not a lot of risk if we just jump in and give it a try. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So just to show some examples of validation, I think, you know, we just wanted to show, you can see on this site, trusted by the world's best places to work. And not only are they saying that, but then they're backing it up with some logos like you talked about, and then a quote from someone. And what I love about this is they use some great photography that makes it interesting and so yeah. you can just put a quote on a page where but she's looking she's also looking which we've talked about yeah. it's, you know her Pretty eyes cool. are going towards the text yeah. and so it's interesting to look at a page like this it's they're making a claim you know they're backing it up by helping 750 plus companies and then they really back it up by using logos and then it's really this whole nother layer where it's a quote and then even named one of the best places to work 
by this. And so look at the layers of validation that this product is adding on. Yeah, stacking the deck here. Right? Stacking the deck. And so scoring points. Scoring points. You're you're in a mood today, I aren't you, Tony? Yeah, a little yeah. bit a little bit buggy. That's okay. <laughs> you didn't even wear your costume. <laughs> but yeah, I mean that's really what it's about is that you can look at a page like this and man does it add validation and confidence. I didn't want things to be awkward with, you know, the full costumes. So yeah, for, where is the costume? Or for you, so. I understand. Okay. All right. Um, this one's great, you know, the addition of videos. So this you can actually see kind of click through multiple people. Again, great visuals that really attract your eye and bring you in. Yeah. But then it's this ability to see multiple and then click in to see more. And again, that statement, over 5,000 subscribers love it. And then that validation to say, okay, how is that correct? Are they actually saying tr a true statement there? Yeah. And then just another example of just showing a single video. And so this is an example for me is that, you know, you've got quotes, you've got images, you've got all these things, but you can really turn this into an engaging media experience where yeah. someone's telling a story. And so especially if you've got a software that's got a longer sales cycle, maybe you really have to um, spend a lot of time configuring or setting it up. Validation tools like this are important because someone really wants to do that due diligence to hear the story. Yeah. Um, it, I think when you're dealing with more turnkey products, stuff where you know it's an app that I'm downloading and using, it's maybe a small fee, a quote can work. Sure. But if I'm dealing with a hundred thousand dollar ERP system, I need to hear stories from people about their full experience. I just think the nature of testimonials on the web have changed, right? It used to be. A lot of times they would just have like, you know, uh, a quote and then sometime like first name and like city like years ago, right? Mm -hmm. People were more anonymous. Nowadays people expect kind of that transparency. Like if I hear yeah. someone talking and I see them, it seems genuine. I can feel that sense of trust, yeah. right? So I think video testimonials are awesome. Well, I think that's a great point is that one of the things that I always talk about is authenticity. And so the thing with these photos mm -hmm. and using real names yeah. and using video is adding authenticity because, you know, people can sense fake, um, you know, and it's really this thing. I was going to try and make a, a political joke there, but I stopped myself. <laughs> um, people can sense fake. And so when you've got these just random quotes from like, you know, X whatever manufacturing company, yeah. Illinois. Yeah. Um, I don't know, it just doesn't add that authenticity level that I think you need to provide true validation, true confidence, and then really increase conversions. Yeah. And then just as an, a, a last example, uh, just kind of showing this one where it's a little bit more about stories. And what I liked about this is they really use stats. So Monster used our brand watch integration to seize 30% market share. Wow. So I thought that that was interesting is that, you know, they're doing case studies here. Mm -hmm. So it's it's not necessarily a quote or a video, but they're using cases and then they're really bringing forward in the messaging what that main benefit yeah. or value was that that company got out of it. And so I think that that's an important way too is that we can show quotes, but we want to value validate the results that we're producing and yeah. so not only do you want the quotes but how do you have statistics or true uh, analytical information that proves your points and your value Sorry, cool. and it's anchored to you know big credible yeah there's got the names yeah. there as well you know and so I, I really do think um, this again shows that structure and the point is is as you're building out the site and we're doing all these other principles mm -hmm is you really want to come in and use validation throughout the site yeah. at different layers so that like that first one you're kind of layering it on as people go through their experience yeah. and maybe in the beginning when they get to the home page it's a quote just to get their interest peaked but then when they get to a specific feature they can watch a video about that and then when they get to you know the conversion page where it's sign up for a trial, yeah. you've got some of those statistics about like what the results were for customers. I love and that. so really at every stage, you're hopefully providing validation and increasing confidence. Yeah. And that's really what it is, this point system. I walk through the process 
and I'm, I'm gaining points with that customer to get them to take an action. And depending where you're at with your software, with your business, you might not have you know these big recognizable mm -hmm. names, you might not have the case studies, but if you have a user and I have Andy and Andy you know, records a video and you're just telling your experience and it's really yeah. positive, that's where you start, right? Yeah. I mean, you can, you don't need a ma you don't need these massive right. brands or credible names. You just well, need you know something. It's better to have something than, than nothing. nothing. And yeah. I, I think that that's some of the the challenges that early startups yeah. or new businesses have is they don't have a lot, so they don't want to put any. But to be honest, is you you really just want to take that or find another way to validate. How yeah. do you you know present the product in a different way? or maybe use an investor, or tell the story of how you came up with the idea to solve the problem that you are. Yeah. Um, there are creative ways to create validation, and I think that's the key in this is, you know, there are probably a million ways that you can do it. Yeah. And it's just about increasing confidence, reducing risk, and, and building validation for the points that you're saying. And if you can find a way to do that, whether that's your your mom coming on the video and saying, "Man, Tony is a fantastic eater," then that's what you know that validates the point. So, were you talking to her about? I was. Okay. She she yeah. called in. She yeah. said, "You know what? Tony really eats his uh, spaghetti like no one." So that was nice of her. Yeah, it was. I thought so. So, <laughs> all right. But anyways, validation. That's fun. Um, I don't know. Other thoughts? No, I just think there's a lot of different ways. So hopefully everybody's getting ideas on different different ways you can create these kind of proof elements. Yeah. And show credibility and validation. No. It's super I, important. I agree. So this was uh, principle nine. Principle nine. We have one more left. One more. And we're done with this initial series. And then we're actually going to be moving on and talking about... Um, what is it? Uh, retention. Yeah. So how do we retain users with our system? Because one of the biggest things in a software product is that if you get users, if you can't keep them, then what's that, the point? well, what's the point? But also it shows that um, most SaaS companies fail mm -hmm. because they have high attrition mm -hmm. and they lose customers. So that is the biggest like death bell yeah. for a software is that you've got a high attrition rate. And so uh, we're going to be creating a full series about how do you increase retention yeah. and that should be pretty valuable for our SaaS software and device companies. Yeah, huge challenge. So we yeah. convert them then we want to keep them. That's right. So keep it's good. Paying. Cool. Well, thanks everybody. Awesome. We enjoyed. I hope you had a happy Wednesday and uh, we had some fun here, didn't we? We did. Are you, be sure you didn't bring a costume. I'm so disappointed. Again, I wanted you know with respect to our audience mm -hmm. to you i didn't want it to be uncomfortable especially you know okay we'll, we'll let that go all right folks thanks for coming go download that white paper check out all of our past episodes pretty fantastic and uh that's it make sure there's no razor blades in those apples yeah that's a good point yeah it is halloween all right guys we'll see you see you next week